I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Forest Oak. Today is Monday, October 12, 2015. I'm Sadie. And I'm Roman for the word Good Morning, Forest Oak on WFOM TV. Activity buses will run Tuesday and Thursday this week. From daysoftheyear.com, today is Native Americans Day. Native Americans Day commemorates crimes committed against Native Americans and encourages people to learn about respect the cultures of historical and modern Native Americans. The PTA invites all Forest Oak families to their meeting on Tuesday, October 13th, starting at 6.15 p.m. in the Media Center. Parents will hear about the PBIS system and map R. If any students would like to watch the boys softball game or co cross country meet tomorrow, <coughs> you will need to pick up a permission slip today from Ms. Martin. Anyone staying after tomorrow to watch the softball and cross country will meet outside at the blacktop to give your permission slip to Ms. Janaski. Attention all softball and cross, cross country athletes, you have a competition tomorrow, so remember to wear your jersey. If anyone is interested in playing basketball, you must have all of your forms in to Miss Martin by t October 30th. <coughs> you can pick up your permission slip in the PE hallway. Get your pr physical now so that you can try out. See Miss Martin for details. Where in the world is Dr. Williams? Did you ever wonder where Dr. Williams goes on his walkabouts? He visits classrooms all over the school to see the great work students are doing, correctly identify the classroom Dr. Williams is visiting this week. Let Dr. Williams, Miss Slackoff, or Mr. Haynes know, and you will collect a roar. Cash roars in for merchandise or services in your store. Where in the world is Dr. Williams? Correctly identify the classroom Dr. Williams is visiting. Tell Dr. Williams, Mr. Haynes, or Ms. Slackoff, and collect a roar. Hey, how you doing? What are you working on? We're cutting carrots for carrot bread. You're cutting carrot for carrot bread? Yes. Okay, is this a unit you were studying? Yes. What was the topic of the unit? Nutrition. Nutrition? So what can you tell me about eating carrots? helps you with eyesight. Is that really true? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So what's the next step after um, cutting up these carrots? Um, I think we're going to mix them in. First, we're going to grade them. You're going to call grade them? Like give them a grade, like no, A, B, or C? No, you're going to grade them like what he's doing, like cut them off, and they'll be like shavings when you lift it. Okay. Well, thank you. I can't wait to taste that carrot bread. Have a good one. Was from the beginning. Love. As previously announced, Homework Hotline Live is back with its 30th, 30th season, offering students with from grades. Kindergarten through 12th grade in with free homework help from the MCPS teachers. Ask your questions to HHL by calling 301-279-3234, tweeting, texting, emailing, or posting to Facebook. See <coughs> MCPS website for more information. Here's Dr. Williams with some important information. can't see. Uh, good, good morning, uh, staff and students. I want to wish everyone a great week. Today is open house, so we may have a number of parents in the building and visitors in the building. Uh, let's make sure we uh, uh, help, help their experience be a great experience just like any other day. Uh, so don't be surprised if a number of parents 
um, and visitors are in the building visiting classes throughout the day. I also want to let students know that I'm going to be running a D and F E report uh, sometime this week, and I'm going to be meeting with students who have multiple D's and E's. I'll be setting up those conferences with my uh, administrative secretary, Ms. Keating, uh, to talk about some things. So students, I really need you to look at that line. If you don't have it activated, please see Mrs. Ware, our staff development teacher, to get your activation code. I believe she will be in the cafeteria uh, this week to assist students with getting Edline activated. Students, it's your responsibility to keep up with assignments, study, and use your agenda book. Uh, so we look forward to um, uh, seeing some good data this week. And so if you know that you need some extra help, please take advantage of uh, homeroom, uh, lunchtime, or any additional time that the teachers provide so that you can get that support. We are committed to your success. Um, again, I look forward to our sports teams having a great week with many competitions. And I want to thank the crew of Good Morning uh, Fort Stoke for all their work behind the scenes. You do not know how much work and effort it goes to put a quality TV program on. I see them working in a media center, typing up scripts and working behind the scenes. So I want to give a shout out to our Good Morning Fort Stoke team. Thank you all and let's have a great week. Turn it back over to the anchors at this time. Thank you, Dr. Williams. The sunrise today occurred at 7.15 a.m. Today's weather will be nice with, the sunshine, with sunshine and a high temperature of 74 degrees. The sunset tonight will occur at 6.35 p.m. Today's weather will have increasing clouds with late shower in the area with a low temperature of 53 degrees. That's all for today's Good Morning Forest Oak. Please check your classroom clock. The correct time is 8.17. 8.17. I'm Sadie for Roman. Have a marvelous Monday.